How's it going guys? Neo Gino here and I recently just got back from Retro Game Con about a week ago. I'm filming this now. It's about a week afterwards and uh, this is what I got. Check it out. <laughs> As I said in the beginning, I just got back from Retro GameCon 7. It was in Syracuse, New York. Um, great show, always a good time. Uh, and I definitely got a lot of good stuff. Uh, started out. Before the con even started, I made a deal with my buddy Mike Bird from Long Island Video Game Training Post. And uh, a, one of his workers brought me up these games here. Uh, some Saturn games that I didn't have. Midway's Arcade Classics. Sorry about the glare. Andretti Racing. Hang On GP. Uh, arcade Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection. The other one, basically. Maximum Force. WrestleMania the arcade game. Mansion of Hidden Souls. And Dark Light Conflict. And some of the better ones that I got actually were Skeleton Warriors. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Galaxy Fight. And the worst working designs game, in my opinion, personally, Iron Storm. Just because I'm not into those type of games, and that's why, basically. Um, thanks, Mike, for the great deal on them. Thanks, uh, I believe the kid's name was Mike as well, that brought him up to me. I could be wrong on that. I probably am. Sorry. Um, I, I got a lot of uh, NES boxes that I needed up there. Uh, first I got Ultimate Air Combat, I need the box to this, got that now. Uh, the Untouchables, I still need the black, or the blue cart version of this box. Definitely awesome, and these are all really nice boxes too by the way. Super Mint. Uh, Daydreamin' Davy box. Ghoul School. Super Mint Die Hard box. I actually bought this. This was complete. Actually, a lot of these were complete. I flipped the cards and manuals out of them pretty much already. Uh, Home Alone. Uh, the Terminator. I just watched Terminator 3 today, actually. That's pretty funny. And Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I also did some really, really good trades up there while I was there. Uh... Almost most of the things I got from here on out was all traded pretty much, which is pretty crazy actually because uh, normally at conventions it's really hard to do trades with people, not the vendors themselves, but people that are there to attend it. They think their shit's worth a lot more than it is and they want to trade higher and it just doesn't usually work out that way. But one trade that I did do was with my boy, my boy next to me, Chris Lake. Uh, I traded him some stuff. And uh, I got a complete inbox Soul Blazer for Super Nintendo. I had the cart already, so I'll just be flipping my cart out. And this is 100% complete. I believe this has the map in it as well. It's and everything. Yes, it does. Maps in there. So, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, maybe one day I'll try this out. I'm really not a big RPG guy, but uh, who knows. It's more uh, action, I think, as well. So we'll try it out maybe one of these days. Another trade that I did uh, was a Super Mint complete unbox Space Mega Force on Super Mint. And uh, glad to finally have this in my collection. Um, like I said, did some really good, awesome trades up there, too. Um, yeah, it's super everything in here 
cart. Still in the baggie and everything. Like I said, very odd to have people that do good trades. And uh, I was just glad I guess I had the stuff that they wanted to do the trades at this time. So, super pumped about that. Uh, this next guy, I did all three of these for a trade. And um, completed box Lord of the Rings. Um, well, yeah, I already had the loose card to this, now I have the complete super mint box. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez. What is this? Los Gatos Banditos complete. Um, looks kind of interesting. I'll try it out. It's like a platformer. And uh, I didn't have that at all, actually. And the next one I got is 100% complete, and I already had the cart to this. And I was really only interested in the box of the manual. But uh, I got a complete Super Mint Zero Kamikaze Squirrel. And this is definitely getting very much harder to find, especially complete. It goes for a lot of money on eBay right now, sadly. And uh, glad to have this completed. And like I said, I'll be flipping out my extra cart probably. So, uh, I want to thank that guy for the awesome trades. Like I said, it was pretty cool. Uh, another trade that I did was uh, for this. This is, oh, sorry. A Japanese Sega Saturn game exclusive and it is Sailor Moon Super S it is the fighting game for Sailor Moon uh, I heard it's pretty cool it's uh, sort of sought after I guess if you're into Sailor Moon stuff I'm really not but definitely cool and I'm gonna check it out another trade that I did while I was up there was um, at Dino Land uh, my buddy Richard and uh, we traded, I think, some TurboGrafx stuff and some other things. And uh, I got two uh, Master System games off my buddy Joe Suff. That was right next to me with Rich. Uh, I got ALF. Missing the manual for it, but I got ALF. So, need the manual for that one of these days, but still have the hard part of it. Manual seems to always be missing in Sega games for some reason. And I got James Buster Douglas Boxing. And uh, this is also missing the manual as well. But pretty sought after game right here. Too bad it's a piece of shit game too. So, But that seems to how a sports game goes. There's always that one rare one that's a stupid amount of money. And I also did a trade for this. The Gold Punch-Out Famicom card. Um, there's a lot of history on this and I'm glad to say that I have one in my collection now um, pretty cool, pretty awesome now getting down to the last couple things that I got um, probably two of my prized pickups I guess you could say. One I will not even play at all probably, but I picked up off my boy Frank from Forgotten Freshness. Mr. Bones complete for Sega Saturn. He gave me a great deal on that. And I picked up a game that I probably will never play, but you need it to complete the set and it just keeps going up and up and up. And that is Space Adventure. Uh, Super Mint, Super Complete, uh, I'll probably never play it, I'm not into games like this, but uh, he gave me a great deal on this, and I know this game's probably just going to keep going up, because it's getting harder to find, and good copies, and, but, in my opinion, the ground, the crowning jewel of my pickups was this, so small, so tiny, and this is the Punisher Tattoo, that came in the Genesis thing. Sealed. It came in this. Punisher game. Sega was notorious for putting things in games. Um, there are games that have um, fruit roll-ups in them. I have I have one of them. I have uh, my Gunstar Heroes has a fruit roll-up in it. And Sega was notorious for putting 
little niche things like this in their games and usually this was you know gone whatever and even on the box it says Punisher Skull tattoo inside if you could read it there but um, this is super super hard to find the guy's willing to split this out of his and we did a trade for it and uh, gave him a little bit of cash but uh, this is just something you never see and I'm glad to have this in my collection and yeah, that's pretty much all I got back from Retro Game Con. Uh, it was awesome. I had a lot of friends. Always love doing the show. I'll definitely be doing it next year. Um, Pat puts on a great show. Uh, always fun. Played uh, Iron Maiden Pinball. Super sweet. I definitely want to get that now. Like I'm definitely hunting for that. So uh, yeah, this is Neo Gino saying keep smashing on buttons, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.